Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. The Prime Minister is expected back in Canberra today after a tour of the Torres Strait. He was seeking feedback and advice from community leaders on the planned Indigenous voice to Parliament. Anthony Albanese says recognition in the constitution of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people is long overdue. Just as the apology to the stolen generation brought the nation together, mm. a voice to Parliament will also strengthen the nation and bring it together. A bomb maker who assembled explosives used in the Bali bombings in 2002 has been granted an early release from prison. Umar Patek was sentenced to 20 years behind bars in 2012 and has only served 10 years of his sentence. 202 people were killed in the terrorist attacks, including 88 Australians. Queensland's police commissioner has been criticised over staffing levels within the service as an inquiry looks at its domestic violence response. The inquiry heard there are 27 positions allocated to a dedicated DV command, while 38 work in the media and PR departments. Katarina Carroll admits it's a work in progress. The community would be aware where we first respond to domestic and family violence is actually with our first response officers. And my priority has been to put as many boots, so to speak, on the ground as possible, and then when the numbers become available, to allocate them to other areas of priority. There's still no end in sight to the rail dispute that's been causing massive disruption for Sydney commuters. There was another round of talks between the union and state government yesterday, and more are taking place today. At this stage, strike action planned for Tuesday and Thursday of next week is still going ahead. To Sport, brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply, and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1800 858 858. Penrith has claimed the NRL minor premiership, beating South Sydney 26 points to 22. Panthers halfback Liam Martin went over in the 78th minute for the match winning try. We knew it was going to be a tough physical one and um, knew they would be up for it. So, um, yeah, it was good that it came down to the last um, you know, 78th minute. Tonight, it's the Cowboys and Warriors in the earlier game and then the Broncos clash with the Storm. And Isla Tomljanovic has had one of the biggest wins of her career, ousting fourth seed Paula Bedosa in the second round of the Cincinnati Masters. It's good timing for the Aussie with the final Grand Slam event of the year, the US Open, kicking off next week at Flushing Meadows in New York. In entertainment news, it's time to honour the best in the biz when it comes to the small screen. The 2022 Emmy nominations are out, representing what we binged on during a pandemic-affected year. Success leads the way with the most nominations at 25, while Ted Lasso's on hot on the trail with 20 and White Lotus also scored 20 nods. And Kylie Jenner's revealed she was almost had another name. Her parents also considering calling her Kennedy. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update. I'm Susie Thompson.